Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Libra's Way. So this week we are doing what's coming in, but this time we are doing pick a card. So um, we're going to do three different options. All of the oracle cards that we're going to be using and tarot cards that we're going to be using, I will show you right now. First, we have the vice versa tarot deck that I just received um, in the mail that I've wanted for a really long time, vice versa tarot. That's going to be our tarot deck. We have Gateway of the Light Activation Oracle cards. Brand new deck as well. Earth Magic Oracle cards. These are new as well. Romance Angels Oracle cards. And Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle cards. So for people out there who are finicky and don't really like the idea of... Oh, actually, and we might use Angels Answers Oracle cards. We'll see. Um, but for people who out, are out there and they're like, really, they don't necessarily like the fact that like people already pre-choose the cards. I'm going to shuffle them right in front of you so you can see what cards there are that I am shuffling. So without further ado, let's get going and start shuffling and put them in random, uh, put random cards in place. Uh, here we go. Oh. Oop, that flew out, so that's really random, but there's something better. Okay, that's someone message that needs to hear. Someone needs to hear that it's about a relationship. This could be for the collective, but we are choosing three cards, splitting them up. And what I'm going to do is for pick a card, you're going to have the choice between crystal or citron or my Organite, and we'll just use those for now, okay? Those are our three for Angel's Answers. Now, for Earth Magic, and for some of them we might use them, we might not, just depends on you know what the guys are telling me for this they're telling me only two are needed and these are the two that just flew out there so that's what we're gonna do first two go here okay that's done third magical messages from the fairies Gateway of Light Activation. One more shuffle. I don't like that shuffle, that was weird. One, two, interesting, three, and four. That was Gateway of Light Activation Oracle cards. Last but not least, these are vice versa tarot cards, so they're just going to come out the way they're going to come out. Haven't used this deck at all yet, but we are using them today. Take any of those. 
and this one and this one. Okay, we're done. Okay, now for people who chose This is going to be pick a card portion one. This is clear, the clear one. This is number one, number two, citron. This is oracle deck number two, or group number two for what's coming in this week. And group number three with organite from organite goddess. This is pick a card spread number three. Last but not least, Actually, I feel like I want to choose one for each of these. Okay. Now, let's see what's coming in. First, we're going to focus on clear. I'm going to put the other two cards to the side so I can read the first group. Stay optimistic about your love life. Somebody could be pessimistic, very pessimistic, because maybe they had not such a great time situation and they kind of were hoping for something better and that better that something better just hasn't come. This week, what's coming in, what you need to know about this particular week. We have the Eight of Swords, you're in your head about your love life. With death here, yeah, this feels like death. I feel as though this has to do with the death of a cycle. The situation will improve once you release this obsession with the fact that you're not getting what you think you deserve and want in your love life. You're really working super hard to get past it. I feel like this doesn't have to really do with a karmic. It could, but I don't read for karmic stuff like that, like karmic lovers or something. It's not my thing. But what the situation will improve, someone just needs to stop being so uh, pessimistic this week about their love life and just allow for things to kind of play out. I feel like you might actually have a chance Um. Uh, something really great by your birthday, of course, with the birthday card coming out with the Hathor light codes. This is about light immersion, power recall. It's about taking back your power. So this this energy with the desert with the desert here, vision quest, also feels like it has to do with summer. So if somebody's birthday is this summer, um, you might have a good chance at sort of reevaluating seeing things in a better way by summer if your birthday is in summer but i'm also feeling that by the fall because it feels like when the desert isn't as hot is when you're going to start seeing better options come through into your life but you have to start focusing on this type of like optimism this week you can't keep like letting it um control your life into summer, especially if you want to kind of have things pulled together by the end of summer into fall, you need to start focusing on this new energy right now. So that's your message for this week for part one, picking a deck. I hope that everything that you want comes in. Just remember, again, the situation will improve, but you really have to focus this week on not being so Debbie Downer. No matter what's happening in your life, just try to, it's all about the mindset. It's about how you're envisioning things, how you're seeing things. If you can see things differently, look at how this is focused on the mind. It's because the mindset needs to change for this person or for the group of people that I'm channeling this for. So, Without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in to Libra's Way and have a great week. See you in the next reading.
this is part two or pick a deck cards group two this is the citron option what's coming in for group two let's check it out and see what it is okay release your ex for romance release your ex and it is up to you so i definitely feel like you might be dealing with some sort of a tie to somebody and you need to stop being fixated on them you're being too fixated on what's happened in the past with the three of cups here you're not focusing on the two of cups there's something better that's out there but you have to cleanse your energy now i'm also hearing too this is a time where maybe you have a lot of responsibilities that are weighing you down and you're starting to feel built build up from that and they're telling me that like once this burden once this um these responsibilities kind of start to dissipate and you kind of like realign with yourself you're going to bring in and attract new beginnings that are even better than you thought than they were before with the order of melchizedek this is big this is about building yourself and i also feel like this ex whoever this person is is holding you back from your true potential so if you have somebody that you were they're telling me it's not like a person you were talking to or a person that like you were maybe even friends with benefits any of that type of stuff they're telling me like this was a boyfriend girlfriend situation like you had a label a legitimate label so this is who this is for you need to release this person if you are in this like breakup to makeup stage somebody has too much responsibility um on their back not only from this relationship but from work and it's actually starting to like weigh down too much on this person to the point that they're not able to level up in their lives because they're so overwhelmed with the responsibilities of all of the stuff that comes with this. This could be kids. This could be, it feels more like work. Work is becoming super demanding. Just know that you are right around the corner from a brand new beginning that's always darkest before the dawn. So be prepared for that because I do feel like whatever it is that's coming in is coming in and it's going to be amazing. So I want you all to like remember this as time goes on. You are about to activate a brand new way of thinking and feeling and doing things as soon as you release the karmic ties that you have to anybody or anything that is holding you back from your truest potential. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Libra's Way. This is Pick a Card Group 2. See you in the next reading. All right, last but not least, we have our Organite Pyramid. This pyramid was made specially for me from one of my favorite um, places to get my crystals. And one day I will definitely drop that info below. Um, but I do have it posted on my Instagram, a underscore Libras underscore way. If you're interested, just look through my posts and you'll find this, this little, um, my little pyramid and you'll find the website. I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm not going to shout them out at this time because I've done this already a few times. Um, so, yeah, that's it. But, all right, let's see what's going on for group three, whoever chose this Organite. So, I feel like if you do have somebody special, this is a really important time to make sure that you're focusing on them. Take them out to dinner. Take Treat them. If you haven't done this and you really want to, Make sure that you do this. Oh my gosh, look at this marriage. We also have your wishes granted. We have children. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful, you guys. This is a great week this week. If you haven't been able to like catch up with your family or friends or people that you really care about that you're connected to, um, this is a beautiful time to do so. Um, I feel as though with your wishes granted and marriage, this spring feels really significant. Maybe you got married in the spring. If you did, congratulations. That's what I'm feeling. You already have children. If this is for you, your wish is granted. I feel like you also want to plan a big vacation or trip. Maybe you haven't had the chance to go on your honeymoon. 
now is the time to start planning it this week. Um, that's one important bit of information. Make sure that you're doing something you really like. You know, this is a special time. This is, you only get one honeymoon. You know, of course you can have other honeymoons. You can have baby moons, all those things. But you only get one honeymoon after your wedding. So make it count, make it something fun, and make it something positive and beautiful. Um, for those of you who are interested or single, I feel like you're actually very close to finding the one. If this reading resonated for you, um, this doesn't feel like for people that are like fully in a relationship, although it does, it could symbolize the fact that there is pregnancy and somebody wants to get pregnant. And if that's the case, yes, you will get pregnant soon. I'm hearing September is going to be important somehow. Doesn't mean that you will get pregnant then, but I do feel like it could be that you do find something out or there's some sort of progress made if you've been trying to have a baby you've made positive progress, you get positive feedback, something like this. And it starts this week. If you're going to start planning, plan now. Venusian Galactic Council, they're watching you, star being guides, answering the call, time to shine. And we also have I am presence, light body activation and accessing the divine within. This is all about really connecting with your sacred self, with your higher self, you have lots of masculine energy protecting you. If you're a masculine, you have a lot of mentors, a lot of men in, that are in your life. They want to see you do better. They can feel that you're trying. If you haven't been doing as great, well, have no fear because you are in this magician type of phase and energy where you are about to see your wishes granted. See how there's a shooting star in the background from the magician? This is because this is a person who maybe in the past something hasn't worked out. Things have not been working out. Things feel stale. They feel like they're stagnant. Well, with your wishes granted and the magician, this is a big sign. Somebody is about to see their wishes come true. And I'm hearing within the next two weeks, something important could happen or there could be a turning point. You might've already seen a glimpse of this occur towards the third week of May, 2022, but it comes full circle by the end of June is what it feels like. Or somebody out there. Now it could also be that you're getting married or you are going to start a family with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but mainly fire signs. I'm also hearing very Mars-like energy, so wouldn't be surprised if it's like a Scorpio or something either. Mars energy is very relevant here. Um, we also have the dogs, so I do feel like if you have dogs, Make sure that you watch over the fact that there, you might have um, some doggy issues in the next coming weeks. If you do have dogs and this message came through or you chose part three, this is for you. Watch your dogs. Make sure to take them in for checkups. Um, I would say like if you're taking them out and about, just like make sure that you're kind of protecting them or like watching them extra carefully. I don't know if there's like a dog that's like maybe a dog that's a little bit aggressive towards your dog or vice versa. Be careful because it feels like there could be a doggy type of issue coming up um, for your pup. So be prepared for that. Or for your animal, a male animal is what I feel. Male dogs. These are not female dogs. These are male dogs. Could be male animal. I'm not feeling cat vibes, but I'm feeling like rodent or dog vibes. So be careful of that. Uh, that is what I have to tell you all for this week. So thank you so much for listening in to this pick a card. What's coming in weekly reading for group three. Thank you all so much for tuning into a leader's way. And I will see you in the next videos to come. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think about this in the description or in the comment section below. So I can see what you guys want. I really enjoy this pick a card type of um, reading. If you're interested in me doing this again, uh, let me know. Have a great day and see you in the next videos. Bye.